What'd you get them on? The pink Cadillac. Ooh, it's a nice brown. Pink flies are doing great for us. Well, as big as a net. That's a beauty. Sure is. There you go. Man. Same <laughs> one? Yeah, you had a few inches on this one. I'll tell you what, this one has. It's more of a um, pink look to it, doesn't it? Pink Cadillac. -y. I'm telling you, on a slow day, you got to give it up to uh, the pink Cadillac and the big tries pink hair's ears. They're saving the day. Hey everybody, it's Benny P with Lively Lakes Fly Fishing and on today's tying video I'm going to tie for you a very heavily requested fly and that little pattern is the pink Cadillac. This is a fly that we sell ready to go to the water on LivelyLegs.com, our online site. But if you're into tying your own flies and you want to tie a batch of these up yourself, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run you through the materials now so you can do so. The first material I'm going to go ahead and show you, this is the body material. And this is a type of yarn, and it's made, made by this company, Jamison, and it's double knitting yarn. And if you look on the back of this tag, you're going to see, it. I'm pretty sure that number is 153. That is the wild violet, and that is the body material that we use. That is the only thing on this fly that we don't sell at LivelyLegs.com. But the cool thing is, if you get on and you make an order to get some of the materials to tie this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send you a few feet of this to get you started until you can get in your own little batch of that yarn. Next material, moving up the fly, I'm going to go ahead and show you the thorax material and that is the Ice Dub UV Shrimp Pink from Hairline. And that is just a killer combination we found. Of course you're going to want to put the lively legs on there and on this fly we're going to be tying a size 14 so this is going to be the small lively legs and the hot pink. This has been a killer color for the rainbows and the brook trout. On top of that thorax and the lively legs we're going to have a wing case, and that wing case is going to be this nice shiny material you'll see here. And this is the Pearl Scent Flat Tinsel. Leading the way in the front is going to be a Lively Legs Down and Dirty Tungsten Bead, and this is a 3.0 millimeter. The thread we're going to be using is a Unithread, and it's a 6 aught, and that is the pink. That is all going to be tied on a Lively Legs. 470 size 14 hook and that is the scud curved hook and when I get that fly finished off I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a little drop of this head cement on and this is the hard as haul penetrator and that's gonna penetrate down into that thread and hold that whip finish on extra tight and keep that fly from coming apart okay I'm gonna leave the material list up over here just for a few more seconds for you to jot those down all those materials are available at LivelyLegs.com with exception to the body material. And like I said earlier in the video, I'll go ahead and throw you some of that in to get you started. This fly was invented by Iron Mike of Lively Legs Fly Fishing. Uh, we didn't have a name for this fly for a while, so we asked a lot of our friends. And our good friend Ryan Mitchell gave it the cool name, the Pink Cadillac. So I'll give a shout out to Ryan Mitchell in this video as well for coming up with the name. And we've had an absolute ton of fun with this fly. On a personal note, you know, unfortunately I didn't land this fish, but the largest trout I ever had hooked was was hooked with this fly. I had it to me a couple times in a cheering section and everything, my dad and his friends in the big tribe, and, you know, the fish won that battle. But regardless, I hooked an absolute giant rainbow trout on this in some big water, and uh, at the end of the day, he won the battle. But let me go ahead and continue on. We'll get this fly tied. And then you can go ahead and stock your box up and get ready for the spring because, and also here in the winter, because this fly is absolutely killer. You're going to want this in your box. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I have my 470 Lively Legs Lip Splitter Hook. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pinch that barb. That barb pinched down. And I'm going to take my bead 3.0 Down and Dirty Tungsten Bead. I'm going to put it on there and we're going to get it in the vise. Next we're going to thread the hook. I'm going to take that thread back pretty far on this fly because you want a nice long body. Probably 
you see how the bend comes down around you want to come right to about the midpoint in that bend work it back towards the front and now you're going to fill in and start building your taper a little bit you're going to fill in behind that bead you don't want to fill that whole thing in because you want to leave a little room and you'll see later in the video when you bring your yarn up you want to leave a little room there to tie off but you can see the nice tapered underbody I'm tying there. Oh, you say on flies, this gives it the carrot shape slash cigar shape. I'll put my hand right here and you'll see that better. And you can see it's thicker up towards here. And as it comes down, it just it's slowly tapering down into the end of that fly. And when I put on my yarn and I build that body up over it, that's going to give it a nice tapered look the whole way up to that bead. Okay. We have a nice little taper there. And you can see I'm not clear up at the bead, but I'm going to take my yarn now, and it's the yarn I'm going to use for the body, and I'm going to get a hold of it here. And I'm going to tie this down and I'm going to tie it down the whole way back to where I want to start the body. Clear back halfway on that bend. Have it tied in good back there. Bring my tying thread back up to the front right by the bead. And I'm going to wrap this around. Just make even wraps the whole way up building that body. Get it towards the front. A couple wraps over. A couple wraps this way. Lock it down with a couple more. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut that off. And there you go. The body is on the fly. Next, I'm going to just bring my tying thread back. Not quite halfways, but back far enough to where we're going to leave a space for the thorax and also for our legs and our wing case and we're going to go ahead and tie the wing case in now okay our wing case is tied in and you can see I'm not let me get my finger down here, you can see it better. I'm not quite halfway back, but I gave myself enough room right here to put a thorax and the lively legs and on this fly. Next we're going to tie in our lively legs, and this is what really makes this fly pop. On a longer shank hook, we would tie in all six legs, but on these shorter hooks, like this scud hook, we're going to only tie in four legs. So what you're going to want to do is place this right on top of your fly like this and you can see this front little tab this little thing right here you're going to be cutting this off and you want where these legs meet that front tab that's where you want your first two wraps of yarn to go and I'm going to put that right on top like that and then you're going to take a couple wraps of yarn there and then you're going to take a couple through the middle and then a couple right behind the second set of legs and then you're going to come back to the middle and then you can cut off that front tab and he's back two legs in that back tab. So let's go ahead and do that now. Place it right on top. One wrap, and get it right where you want it. Your second wrap, come to the middle, a couple wraps, and go right behind that next set of leg. Give it a couple wraps there, come back to the middle, and then we can go ahead and cut off those back two legs with that tab and cut off that front little tab. And without locking this down, I'm just going to turn that sideways. And now you can see how those lively legs look really nice on there. Now we're ready to go ahead and tie in our Ice Dub UV Shrimp Pink Thorax. Before I do that, I'm just going to put a little wax on thread here. And this is just very, very, very small pinches. Just want to take a little pinch. You want to dub that straight onto there. 
does not take a pile of this and this stuff really really looks beautiful on this fly okay we're gonna move that up let's go ahead and see if we have enough on there a couple wraps in the middle go behind I'm going behind that next set of legs and I'm going to do a couple wraps come back to the middle with the wrap and then I'm into the front with the wrap Let's see if you can see it let me get my hand right here I'll give you a better look once I tie this wing case in so that was the perfect amount and you don't always get that perfect amount but sometimes you get lucky like I just did sometimes you have to add a little more you have to pull a little bit but I just got lucky on that one go ahead and pull this wing case over and let's give it a wrap got a couple to hold it down pull it back give it another wrap pull it back over one more wrap and I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off there and then we're gonna whip finish this fly Okay, got my whip finisher ready to roll. One, two, three, four. That'll do it. One last thing I want to do. I want to take my head cement and I want to just put a little dab on there and lock that into place. A little dab right on that yarn and that's going to penetrate into that yarn and lock that in place and that's it let's turn that fly around and give you a good look and that is the lively legs pink cadillac okay there's a much better look at the pink cadillac you can see in my hand that thing's so shiny when i'm when i was making that video i could tell when i was making a video by looking in the actual viewfinder on the camera that that bugger is so shiny you wouldn't get the full effect of the beauty of that fly so I wanted to make sure I got it in my hand and you got to see that fly and uh, this fly has caught us thousands of fish in the last couple years we've had a great time that's one of the things I'm gonna do the tying videos that I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure these videos are on flies that have worked for us uh, I'm not just gonna tie a bunch of random flies and uh, have you watch me tie these flies and then go out and try them and they don't work at all. I'm going to make sure these are flies that actually work for our crew. And you've probably seen them in a lot of our videos. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Comment if you have any questions. And until next time, best of luck on the water.